Hello everyone, I am Isaac. I am here on the Sports Hot Topic show, Chris and Joe. Uh, we're going to talk about who we think is going to make the playoffs in the NFL. So, we'll start with you. Who do you think, who are your six teams in the a a AFC or NFC? NFC, you have the Eagles, I've been NFC East, Packers are NFC North, Falcons are NFC South, and Rams are NFC West. Mm -hmm. My first wild card is 49ers, my second wild card is the Cowboys. And now in the AFC, Patriots win the AFC East, Steelers win the AFC North, Texans win the AFC South, Chargers win the AFC West. And my wild card one's gonna be the Raiders, and wild card two is gonna be the Jaguars. Chris, what do you think? Well, in the AFC East, New England's obviously gonna win it. In the AFC North, I think it's pretty clear Pittsburgh has the upper hand from going those two in their division. AFC South, I like Houston. Deshaun Watson's healthy, J.J. Watt's healthy, Jackson was a whole quarterback, Indianapolis, even with Andrew Luck healthy, has a bad roster. And then you have the AFC West. The Chargers have the most complete team. I go with them to win the division. And the wild cards, I go to the Chiefs, and I go to the Raiders. And the NFC side, Philly, the Super Bowl champs, stay on top of the NFC East. Vikings with Kirk Cousins, they'll beat out Aaron Rodgers for the NFC North. Falcons are going to NFC South. NFC West, I'm going to go with the best offense in football this year, the Rams. And then wild card team, I'm going to go with the Saints and the Packers simply because of Aaron Rodgers. So do you have any, what do you, th what do you think about his mm -hmm. game? You don't believe in Jimmy G yet. Hello? Hey guys, you Do you repeat? What do you think? What do you think about the Jaguars? Um, I think they have a great defense, but I'm just not so sure about Blake Boyles. He's too inconsistent. So. They also got a first place schedule this year. Yeah. And Luck's coming back, Deshaun Watson's coming back. Tennessee's got new coaching. I mean, I think I think they'll be bad, but I don't think they win that division with the yeah. weakest quarterback in the AFC South. Do they make the playoffs? I have them in a second wild card. I have them just missing out. I think they're an eight, eight, nine, seventeen. Okay, thank you for the call. So, what are you saying about Jimmy G? Yeah, I believe in Jimmy G. Yet, look here. His name is Niners. They were a rebuilding team that a franchise quarterback handed to them. They were one and nine. They were a rebuild. Garoppolo comes around, then with five in a row. Game, yeah. But they still have no running game. They don't really have any good offense weapons. Their defense, talented, pretty young. Not an elite defense yet. And their o line's good. They have a couple really good tackles from Joey Staley in the first round of Mike McClinchy. But they're still building that roster. I don't think they can. In the AFC, I'd have them as a playoff team. But Garoppolo's not going to be able to carry them past rosters like Atlanta, New Orleans, and Green Bay. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to ask Where do you think LeBron's going to land, guys? I'm going Lakers. If you haven't heard, his son has committed to playing in high school in L.A. I don't think he's going to be playing in L.A. and have his dad play in Houston. And also, a business decision. He's got companies out there. He's got a home out there. I think he's starting to be, look towards the end of his career. And he could bring Paul George there. They have Lonzo Ball there. I think they would probably potentially get to the Western Conference Finals. Maybe. I mean, I think he also doesn't want to lose the Conference Finals. If he goes to the West, he won't lose the, the NBA Finals because he'll either beat Golden State or will lose to them and won't ruin his finals record. Do you think there's a lot of talk about him maybe uh, joining Ben Simmons and Markel Fultz and Joel Embiid in Philadelphia, or maybe James Harden and Chris Paul in Houston? What do you? I think he's going. I think he's going to Philadelphia. I mean, because he can't, he can't win in LA. I mean, like they're not ready yet. I mean, with Philadelphia, they won 52 games last year. They weren't even supposed to do anything last year. Now we'll see Fultz play. I don't think he's in bust yet. But Simmons injured his first year, and Lucas Tim's not his future MVP. So he's Simmons and Embiid and Reddick, if it's something he resigns. So I think Philly would be the best choice. If they get him, I think they're winning the finals next year. I mean, the issue is his son is going to high school in L.A. He's got businesses in L.A. Even if he goes to Philadelphia, they're not beating Golden State. They are not going to – they would win the East, no problem. But Embiid and Simmons are still young. They're not beating Draymond. They're not beating Durant. They're not beating Curry, Steve Kerr, and Clay Thompson. That's too deep of a roster in Golden State. It would just be another finals loss for LeBron. Do you guys think, you don't think there's any shot he can beat the Warriors with any of these teams? I think, I, Philly, with Philly, he I think if he went to Houston, now I, now, I only think he's going to L.A. because of this report coming out, and they're also the favorite. I would go to Houston, I think, with because they nearly beat him without LeBron, and if Chris Paul stayed healthy, they would have probably beaten the Golden State Warriors. I think they would, and if they got to the finals, they'd win easy over Boston or Philly. They would win the finals easy, in my opinion, if he, got to, if he went to Houston. I'll, the only challenge would be Golden State. All right. Um, thanks, everyone. This is Isaac with Chris and Joe on the Sports Hot Topics show. Thanks for listening.